Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the uh, thread local class. Uh, thread local class has been enhanced with one of the uh, new method in Java 8 and that is nothing but the with initial. You can see uh, this is since Java 1.8 and this method accepts supplier as an argument. It's a functional interface. So we will take couple of huge cases to understand how with initial uh, method works in local thread. But before that, let's try to understand how thread local uh, works. So in Java, there is a class called thread local which provides another way of threads safety apart from synchronization. Usually, uh, when we have a multiple threads sharing an object, we need synchronization, the critical section of the code in order to make thread safe. Thread local class provides thread local variables where each thread that accesses one variable uh, and that variable is uh, has its own independently initialized copy of variable. Since each and every thread has its own copy of the object, so explicit synchronization is, is not needed to provide thread safety. One interesting point about thread local variable is the global access any thread local variable is global to the thread it can be accessed anywhere from the thread if uh, from a thread several methods uh, residing in different classes are called uh, thread local variable will be visible to all those methods there is no need to pass the thread local variable as a parameter so once you create a thread uh, local object and you set the value, then you will have a global access point. You can access from anywhere. At the same time, any thread local variable is local to a thread. So that will be a local to a thread and global to a thread as well. If there are 10 threads spawned, all the 10, thread, 10 threads will have uh, their own thread local variable. One thread cannot access or modify other threads local th local variable right so if you are uh, creating 10 threads and every it, it, if you are creating 10 uh, local thread local objects and if you are putting uh, different value in uh, all 10 uh, thread local variable then one thread one thread cannot access or modify other threads uh, thread local variable so that's the important point about it uh, now uh, how we can create a thread local variable so uh, let's I have created a project over here let's create a thread local thread local variable so if you look at thread local class uh, let's say let's use uh, generics over here Or let's say let's use a string and here I would say thread local equal to directly thread local has a constructor so you can create an object of it and thread local has a method uh, so here I have created a, a thread local variable called thread local uh, which will store a string value right so setting and accessing a value so how we can set uh, 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 and access uh, value from thread local so once a thread local instance is created its set method can be used to set a value so here you have a set method so let's call a set method on it so set method and here we can set this is local variable right so this way you can set the value right uh, and we have another get method get method is used to read the value uh, note that get method returns the value in the uh, current threads copy of this 
thread local variable so if i try to access thread local if you call a get method on it then this will return you the value which is stored in this thread local so suppose let's say value and if you try to print the value then this will print the value whatever you had set it earlier right so pretty simple huge cases now how we can uh, how we can put the initial value of a thread local variable thread local class provides a um, method called initial value which can be used to provide initial value to a thread local variable so if you go to the thread local and here you can see a uh, initial value right so here but this method is you can see initial value uh, but this method is a uh, protected right so directly you cannot access on the another package right so either you will have to create a subclass of this class or you may use anonymous class right so if you look into the uh, uh, java doc then this is this is saying that this implementation simply returns null if the programmer desired local uh, thread local variable to have a, an initial value other than null thread local must be subclassed and this method overridden typically a anonymous enl class will be used so let's create an anonymous class so here i'm going to create like you can create private static final okay and here uh, here you can uh, or what i'll do let's try to understand these things through an example itself so at least you understood how to set a value and get a value from thread local next use case i'm going to see uh, basically what i'm going to see how to set the initial value right so now at least you have a basic idea about the uh, uh, thread local class right now when we know what is the thread local class and how it can be uh, used to create a variable which are thread safe uh, let's see two we'll see two huge cases in this first example in this first video we are going to see first huge cases and second example uh, we are going to see the second huge cases huge case so when we have a requirement to uh, associate a state with a thread like a user id or transaction id that usually happens when a web application that every request going to a servlet has a unique transaction id associated with with it now i'm going to create a another class in this package i would say thread local demo and here i'm going to create a private static final i'm going to use atomic integer over here and i will set next id and this will take new we can initialize atomic integer and you see value i'm going to specify zero okay now what i'll do i'll create a local thread object thread local object so let's create a thread local object and this will take integer and i would say thread id let's say thread id and here i am going to use uh, uh, with initial value which is added in the jdk 1.8 if you go to 
uh, thread local then you can see with initial right it's a static method so directly you can call by the class name so here i'm trying to call it by class name right with initial value which accepts uh, supplier as an argument so supplier we can define as a as a as a uh, lambda expression right so here i'm going to specify and here i would say next id dot get an increment right now let's define one a static method public static and i would say int and get method so that we can access from outside of the class or within the class as well and i would say thread id and this will return thread id dot we have a get method right which already we have seen okay now now let's suppose this class implements runnable interface then we need to override run method and in run method what else write thread and i would give i will print the thread name thread dot current thread dot get name can print the thread id thread id it's a thread local variable name and we can call its get method right so if i do not define this method also this is gonna work this is not needed at all okay and let's we have already created a client program from client program i'm going to comment this code and i'm going to create a thread local demo object and thread local demo new thread local demo so this is our runnable object right let's create a few threads so thread thread one equal to new thread and let's use this constructor which accepts runnable object first say r so r is our runnable object and you can specify the thread name as well so thread one and similarly you can create let's create a three threads so thread 2 and thread 3 thread 2 thread 3 now we can start these threads and let's run what output we are getting so you can see we are getting thread thread 1 id is 0 thread 2 id 1 and uh, thread 3 is id 2 it uh, you can it can be seen how each thread has a unique id right so one of the huge cases we have seen uh, how to generate a uh, unique id for every thread right in next uh, video we are going to explore uh, we are going to see one more huge cases of thread local class so thanks for watching this video and this code i am going to put on the github and github location and will specify in the video location itself if you like this video then please do subscribe my youtube channel and thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial